last day of power generation not only at Ratcliffe Power Station or the last day of coal powered generation in the UK it's the 30th of September 2024 and by midnight tonight this station will be offline like we've got some press or something over there now I've been here and photographed and filmed this for years and years and years it's funny how the cameras aren't following anyone now isn't it so yeah by the end of today this will be offline it's funny because I filmed Fiddler's Ferry on its last power, last generation day and the weather was pretty much the same as this oh yeah, yeah you alright? TV doing some filming in the power station. Right, okay. Um, looking for people to interview, turn about yourself but to see them stay. Well, for a few seconds. Um, will I be on Sally? Yeah, tonight, if that's alright. I've been photographing and do I'm filming now, photographing and documenting this. I've got an interest in coal fired power stations anyway. Um, my dad worked in them years ago, and the thing about this one, as you well know, is it's not only the last coal fired. Um, station in the UK but it brings an end to is it 142 years of coal fired power yeah. generation in the in end, end of an era yeah 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 it really is and I was just saying on this camera I filmed um, Fiddler's Ferry power station in uh, Widnes near Runcorn on its last day and the weather was identical <laughs> to this <laughs> it's just it, it I mean it's got to be hasn't it but you know I mean it's got to be for the reasons they're doing it, but also it's way past its uh, service life anyway. I mean, they were only built to last for 30 odd years. So this has been going for, what is it, 50 to 7 years or yeah. something like that? Yeah. yeah, we weren't sure if there'd be anyone here today, but there's a lot of people turning out to... Yeah, well, it's, it's... I was. I mean, we've just spent the night in Nottingham, we had a night out last night. And the local news this morning didn't really... It, it kind of briefly covered it, but also as well, I don't know if you know... It's um, the last blast furnace at um, Port Talbot Steelworks, which is run, uh, fueled by coal, that shuts down today as well. Wow. So, so it's yeah. kind of end of, you know, really is the end of an era, isn't it? Yeah. So well, how long are you guys here for? Just um, hopefully not too long in this weather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you had a few minutes to, you know, talk about mention you know, your family history with it, that'd be great. Yeah, can do. Yeah. 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 Is it BBC? Uh, not TV, but like a local independent one. Oh, okay. So how would I find that? It uh, streams online every night. The show's right. at half five. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few people this morning there. Have you had many it's people uh, stopping by? I know the weather's going to put people off, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of people on the bridge. Well, a few people on the bridge earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it wasn't raining, obviously it wouldn't be... I think what they're doing now is they're just burning off the last of the fuel, aren't they? Yeah. This is a small... Have you seen the uh, fuel stack at the other side? You know, if you go... To the other entrance there, okay. where all the conveyors and things are. Oh, right. You can see it from there. You can see it from there, and you know, two or three years ago, when you drove down the 453 here, you couldn't. I'll turn this off now. It's getting 